we got a long gravel road of about 50 kilometers and then 25 of tar before we reach the N1. And with no rain last night, let's hope it's a good one. Excellent. Our plan for today is, if you look at our map, we're going through to Richmond and then from Rich we spend some time in Richmond, then from Richmond we're going up through to Hanover, then from Hanover to Nopoort, and then from Nopoort we're going down to Middleburg, and we'll be sleeping over in Middleburg. So we've got quite a bit we want to do and accomplish today, and I think you're going to enjoy this one. Check that sky. This is such a beautiful scene, eh? Whoa! Oh, lots of clouds in the sky, hey, still. Yeah. But it's much clearer. Much clearer. Especially this side than yesterday. Yeah. I can the already. Road is dry. Road's dry, and I feel it warming up already. My hands not freezing already. Thank heavens yeah. for that. Oh, this is nice to see in partnership with national parks. Yeah. I hope we get to see a mountain zebra. Oh, wouldn't that be awesome? The hills are in the far distance. And they're alive with the sound of music. So maybe the zebras are listening to the music. Exactly. <laughs> Also. Look at this cute little building here. Eh? Wow. Even an attic. Wow. I love this old place. Pretty. Love it. I mean, look at this. Oh. There's a lot of water here. Yeah. Oh. Loads of willow trees around here, hey? Yeah, when, when the road makes like dips like that where there's a lot of water there are willow trees, hey? Yeah, look babe. Yeah. Pixley Kaseme, District, District Municipality. Municip okay. Western Cape, Northern, Northern Cape. Northern Cape, yeah. So we've just gone into the Northern right. Cape. Yes. Brilliant. Officially in the Northern Cape. Yeah. Some of the big rocks look like they've, in all the centuries they've been lying there, or the millions of years vibes, <laughs> they've cracked. And into, split into more, yeah. yeah. I stopped the car and got out because these rock formations are crazy. We just drove down this road over that little hill and if you have a look at this, it's wild. Totally surrounded by them. The end of the gravel. Back on the tar. Back on the tar. Mm. 
Now this is something we haven't really seen next to the road. Or some pigs. I've never seen it next no. to No. We saw one run across the road when we went to McGregor once and we could and he just ran and he disappeared and we couldn't get him on film. Oh as we entered town. Yeah. Oh, it's unusual for me. Yeah. What's this? There's a block. Oh, this is a monument that the Divisional Council of Richmond put up here in honoring um, J.C. Sieberacher for his contribution to the building of this road, the construction of this road. 17 September 1974. Here we are coming into the town of Richmond. But we're approaching it from the back side, not from the N1 side. Which I like. Yes, never come from this side before. Never ever. The game shop is closed. Oh, I thought it's pretty much open. <laughs> oh yeah, it is open. <laughs> bridge. Wow, pedestrian bridge is pretty cool. Yeah. Lots of traffic in Richmond. Yeah. Hello, hello. These two figures sitting on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Cool, yeah. Wow. I like the vibe. I do. I do. Wow, look at this. Mm. This is pretty, eh? Very! Richmond Museum. This is... I need to stop you and explain something about this museum. Okay. This is the one of two horse museums in the world. The other one's in Kentucky and the other one's here in Richmond. It can be interesting to see this place. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Here you go. Look at this. They don't have electricity at the moment. Telephone exchange. exchange, telephone exchange, yeah. yeah. Trade, Richmond Trading Post, antiques and collectibles. Unfortunately, they don't have electricity now today for the whole day, so I can't, it's too dark inside. Books? Yeah. So what's interesting about um, Richmond, it's known as a book town. It's the only book town in South Africa. It's the only book town in Africa, I read. Okay, okay. And um, because 
They have so many books in the town. Look at this church. And aptly we stop in front of the library. Yeah, the bookshop. <laughs> so the gentleman, I was waiting for you, the gentleman said that why it's the only book town mm -hmm. is because compared to the size of the town, they have the most shops where books are sold. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. very interesting. There's a book festival yeah, once a year at the end of October, but this year it's going to be the beginning of November, you yes. said. Yes. Okay. And he says a lot of writers, mm -hmm. quite well-known writers, live in town and around town. Wow. Very interesting. Very. We'll need to come back to that church. Yes, I will. Yep. I just want to go down the street. Yes. Bye. so this is what we've always driven past. This is what we've always passed. We've always just rushed past Richmond. I love it. Municipality, Ubuntu municipality. Hello. How beautiful. Yeah. I wonder if this is the town hall. 1935. It's a guest house. Clean, eh? It's amazing. I hear they've got a very, very active social life this town. Uh, it's incredible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are a very, very active social calendar. <laughs> I love it. You hear the clock chiming. Interesting about that clock that just chimed by the church is that for over 130 years it has never stopped chiming every hour it has chimed eh? on the hour on yep. the hour yep fantastic that's incredible wow celebrated its 150th year in 1993 so this congregation was established in 1843. It seems like this church, church was built in 1908. And it seems that the church is a national monument as well. Check the beautiful glass. No admittance. Wow. I can't make out what's written on the side of it. Oh, World War Two. 1939 to 1945. Okay, so it's a war memorial. That's probably for the First World War, the Great War, and then the Second World War. And the names of the people that died. Curtis is looking at a monument there in a garden while I'm waiting. I'm just fascinated always by trees. And when one looks at these trees, you just have to wonder how old they are. Look at that one. So many thick trunks coming from the bottom. So unbelievable. How's this old bell? Was probably just to call the community together in the old days, but you won't ring this thing now. Oh, oh. Look at the 
this old church. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, is it still working? Don't oh. think so. Uh. This church is old, but it looks like it's still being used. Definitely looks like it's still in use. Definitely still in use. The church looks fantastic inside. It just needs a bit of work outside, but I'm sure one day they'll collect enough funds and get it sorted out. Love it though. Yeah. I'm super it's got surprised it's still so operational. Much character, yeah. Fantastic to see. Oh, and the other the gentleman at that um, trading store told me that uh, there are 16 guest houses in town. And they are all fully booked at the moment because there's a film crew um, shooting a film just outside of town. Oh wow, so that's good. The town's wow. making some money, eh? Getting some much needed uh, cash injection. That's amazing. Serve warm beer and lousy food. <laughs> oh, this is where we came into town. Yes. That's another ancient wall. Uh, this one might be older than the one we saw earlier. Wow. Looks like this is the old cemetery. Yes, it does. I'm going to go in there, see? I think so. I think that'll be very interesting. Very interesting. Now, what I seem to be picking up is these with the metal crosses are related to the Boer War, 1899 to 1901. And I think these were for King and Empire, the British troops that were killed. Lieutenant K.F. Scouts. And this looks like Smith. Trooper Smith or something like it, also for King and Empire. So these were English soldiers that died and were buried, yeah. This, so this used to be a cemetery, a very old cemetery, but it's just fallen apart. And that's where the stone wall was built then. So if these guys were buried, yeah, in 1900s, 1800s. That wall must have been stacked around you back then too. Now this was another interesting stop. Yeah. Especially the fact that there are such old graves. Yes. This is pretty. Clippos. Very pretty, eh? A modern clippos. Yeah. This is the N1. This is where we always used to come. Come, yeah, yeah. This one. Yes. Yes, this looks familiar. Just got us some food, yeah. Starving. <laughs> and this is the Richmond we know. Never went into the town. We always used to just off the N1, popping up by this exactly. garage, fill up and then hit the road again. Exactly. Never stopped off in the town. What a revelation it was. Yeah, amazing. On to the N1, here we go. This is what we got ourselves at that um, Caltex garage outside Richmond on the N1. Curry and rice for lunch. 
This is going to be stunning. Ten to one, it's about time we eat. Yeah. We're sitting here next to the N1, just outside of Richmond. And we've had that stunning lunch of ours, that curry and rice that we bought there by the Caltex garage. Very good, eh? Stunning, stunning. And I'm sitting looking at this plane, and I read somewhere, and I think it's on the Richmond website, that just a century ago, millions of springbuck used to roam in these plains. Oh, millions okay. of them. And you know, whenever we see springbuck, we see at the most 10 together. I mean, on the roads we travel, yes, right? Yes, yes. Not in a national park. And uh, that's even a lot yeah, together. But the, can you just picture millions of them here? That must be that a must sight have, to see. Oh, it must have been. Okay, time to get back on the road. It was really nice exploring Richmond. I, I think it was a great town. Fantastic town. Loved it.